Hello again everyone, welcome back to DIY The Art of Wood, I'm Jeremy. So I decided to take a quick break from this glue up while the glue dries to talk about a tool I recently discovered that has already completely changed the way I work in my shop. I was planning on doing an in-depth review of this tool in an upcoming video showing how to build a centralized dust collection system for multiple tools like what I have around this workbench here, but it's such a fantastic tool and has already had such an impact on my work in the shop that I decided it needs a video all of its own. And that tool is this right here. It's called the iSocket Auto Switch from DGC Products and what it does is it automates your dust collection system for you and it does it at a very inexpensive price. This is the basic version. I think they have a couple other versions that have some additional features that are a little bit more money. This costs about $30 and I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out for yourself. But for what it does for $30, it is outstanding. And the real catch there is the price. You can drop thousands of dollars on a big, fancy, elaborate, automated dust collection system in your shop, but most of us don't have the budget for that. For 30 bucks, you can accomplish the same results with your shop vac and it's fantastic. And I'll show you how it works. So it's pretty simple. It's actually a pretty genius design. Just take it out of the box, take this black box here, plug it into an outlet and you have two outlets on the front, one marked tool, one marked vac. Plug your miter saw or whatever you're going to be plugging into it into the one marked tool. Plug your shop vac or your dust collector into the one on the bottom. Turn your shop vac power switch into the on position. And what this thing does is it senses when you turn the saw on, and then it will also power up the shop vac so it automates that for you. And then the other great part too is that after you turn the saw off, it will continue to run the shop vac for seven seconds to help clear the lines out before it shuts it off. It works really well too. I haven't been using it for very long, but it has already had a huge impact on my work in the shop. It will help keep my shop cleaner help keep me healthier because I won't forget to turn the shop vac or the dust collector on when I'm cutting something. It will also help conserve electricity because I won't accidentally leave the shop vac running for you know a few minutes after I'm done cutting. It's really an outstanding product and I highly recommend picking one up. So enough talking about it, let's go check it out. Let's go see how this thing works here. Swing the camera around so I can get aimed properly. Okay, so I've already got one hooked up here. I picked up a couple of these because they were so inexpensive and I'm going to have a couple of different stations set up. So I've got it plugged in here. I've got the miter saw plugged into the top outlet marked tool. Shop vac dust collector is plugged into the bottom one marked vac. And shop vac's down there. The power switch is already on. So what's going to happen is as soon as I squeeze the trigger on the saw here, this thing will sense that the saw is running. It will send power to the shop vac. The shop vac will kick on. As soon as I let go of the saw, like I finished my cut, it will continue to run for seven seconds to clear the line, and then it will shut itself off. So let's check that out. See the shop vac is running now. And now is continuing to run. And then after seven seconds, it shuts off. No more having to remember to stoop down and turn this thing on. No more remembering to have to turn it off. I highly recommend picking one up for yourself. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check one out. And I'll see you on the next video.